Alright, hello and welcome to another video. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've released a release of my programming language Selenium, um, but here is another one. And this one includes several improvements. Uh, one of these improvements, you will see... Um, well, one of these improvements isn't really an improvement, it's just a difference, um, which is also partially an improvement. So the first major difference is, before, you would type x, you would type quote x dot x plus 2 or whatever and give it a number and it would add 2 to that number. But now, you type, or you can type, curly bracket dot x dot x plus 2 and do 4. It works the exact same way, although there are, of course, a couple of crucial differences. One of these differences is, if you look at it now, um, you have, is that with a quote, you can't tell where it starts and where it ends. So now, you can, for example, I it do, let's say we have, uh f dot, it doesn't really matter, f dot apply, f, or, okay. This is how you used to have to be able to do it. You do f dot apply f, and let's say we want to range from 1 to 10, like that, and then you give it a function, let's say it takes n and it doubles it, right? So if you did this, it would give you 2, 4, 6, 8, all the, all the even numbers less than 20, right? Because, you know, that's what you want if you want it to double all the numbers from 1 to 10. But what you can't do is you can't do and can't just do like f dot apply and then type your function right here because then it would end the quote and it'd be like oh my god errors um so instead what it what it what you have to do is or instead what you can do now is now you can do f dot and i'm just using f because but and now you can do apply and then you can start a new function inside of here n dot n times two and do the same thing hopefully i don't type it wrong here because that would be embarrassing but yeah there we go so now you have 2, 4, 6, 8. It's the same thing, except for now you can type it inside of it. So you can put functions inside of other ones without having to use them as parameters. Um, so there's that, which is a pretty big improvement. And then the second improvement is that now the f, you, you don't have to have a parameter there. Or you have to have a parameter there, but it doesn't have to show up. So before, if I did x and I just wanted to do 2 plus 2, now I would say x dot 4, because there was nothing that went to the x. But now what I can do is I can type an underscore. And instead of displaying anything, it will just display the 4, because the underscore is like no parameter. Um, so yeah, you, you can do that now. Um, so there's that. Uh, that th th those are just some like basic syntax improvements. Um, but now there are also a couple other improvements that I would like to talk about. One of them is now you can make uh, like, like gigantic lists. Um, because before, you would get stack overflow exceptions while you were trying to create a list, which is really, really, really bad. Because if you say you wanted a number of from 1 to 10,000 by 1 thirds, it would have crashed on you because it would have said, oh no, stack overflow. Because, yeah, and by the way, there's, there's, there's a lot of them, and, and it takes a while because there are tons of them. Um, but the problem is, of course, um, appending a new element to the end of a linked list like this requires you to go over every single element. And I previously had that implemented using recursion because, you know, fu it's a functional programming language. Why not use recursion? You know, I mean, that, that kind of makes sense um, because that is kind of the thing. Um, but yeah, so there, so now you can make lists of any size. It'll just take a really long time depending on how you know long you make it, of course because linked lists are not good for ending, adding things to the end of them. That's just, you know, that is not their thing. They have a thing, and it is not that. Um, I could probably implement this a little bit more, or a little bit better, and I probably will by the time I actually like get around to releasing this on Friday, because this is my Friday whatever the heck I want video, and it's going to be about this. And the next thing is math is dramatically faster now. So before, I mean, you, you can still do math to any precision you want. You can have it go, you know, to ridiculous amounts, like, say I want to go to the 12,000th power, it will calculate that for you. But now it is much, much faster than it used to be. Um, and the technical reason for that is because before it held the whole number as one string. And then if it were to add them together, it would go number by number, it'd be like 6 plus 5, I was just assuming you have the number 5 and 6 or whatever, or, or 656 plus 758, so then it'd be 6 plus 8, 5 plus 5, 6 plus 6, with the carries and stuff, of course. Um, but now what it does is it works with, um, well, technically it works with, with, um, with uh, um, longs, which are 64-bit integers, um, and what it does is the number is now a, um, it's now a list of those numbers, 
So it'll actually add like 18 digits at the same time. I have it doing 18 because I've, I I just wanted to give it a number. Um, so it'll do it'll actually do 18 digits simultaneously, which means that not only does it have to do fewer additions, like many many fewer additions, um, but also it doesn't have to um, uh, what you call it. Uh, it it now uses the built-in adding for these long numbers, which is much faster than anything I could write you know, on top of the other things. So the, now its addition is much, much faster. And as you can see, you can go to some really, really high numbers. Let's say I want to do 2 to the 100,000th. So there is 100,000. Unless I counted wrong, that's secretly a million. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's 100,000 because it didn't take very long. So now you have this huge wall of numbers. They're all right. I'm pretty sure. I, I've tested this out. Um, and I'm pretty sure all the numbers are right. I kind of hope so because that would be, you know, really unfortunate. There was an issue, actually, previously with the numbers. Um, with how they were converted to like strings and it would end up actually being wrong despite having stored the right number but I fixed it so no worries and then yeah also I've removed the factorial function because for some reason it was acting up on me so now if you want to do factorial you have to generate yourself a list of number or you could do it recursively of course but like this is 10 factorial because I'm multiplying all the numbers from 1 to 10 by them you know so this is 10 factorial if I want to do like 30 factorial or something, yeah, um, so yeah, it, it does that pretty pretty well too, um, so yeah, those are the main improvements I've made to it, it is better now, I especially like this part, the, you know, list of any length thing, even though it does take a while to generate some of the lists, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.